to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. So as you can tell by the title, we're doing a what's on my iPhone today. And I'm super, super excited because I just got my new iPhone 14 Pro Max. Girl, this is my new baby. You guys don't even understand. So I had the 11 Pro Max before and I have done some videos on what's on my iPhone on that one. Um, but this one is just, I've been waiting for it. It came like a week and a half late and we've just been inseparable ever since. <laughs> um, no, but seriously, let's get into this iPhone and what I have in it. So I will move you guys a little bit closer, but just before we get started, I want to show you guys the exterior. So this one is the gold one. It does look silver or white almost. Um, you guys can see a better gold color on my unboxing video. I will link that for you guys. But in the meantime, um, in this light, it kind of looks it kind of looks gold there, but it does, it is gold, like it is the actual gold one. Even the sides look really silver. I don't know if it's the light or what, but um, it does look a lot whiter than the pictures on the Apple website. So um, that is the exterior, and then we will get into all of the details. Um, but for the case, I just have this case from Amazon. It was about, I, I wanna say $15, and it came with the clear case. This is actually a case. So this is a, um, it's like a second part of the case. So I put this on and then I put this guy on and it's just like a little sticker and the cameras are also covered, you guys can tell. And then I have a glass screen protector and all of this was included in the case. I will link it down below for you guys because it was such a steal. I didn't even expect there to be a case on there. Um, like a screen protector and then when I got here I was like oh my gosh so I will link that for you guys because so far I love it I hope it's not going to turn yellow if you guys have ever had a clear case you know that they often turn yellow um, but worst case I just get a new one because it was like $15 so it's not that big of a deal but it's still annoying so let's get into the phone okay you guys so here is the phone so it is very big it's slightly bigger than the 11 pro max um, so it's 6.7 inches and I'm not like a tech geek. I won't get into all of the technical details, but this is what it looks like. It is slightly um, a little bit different than the other iPhones I've had. I think it's just the way the buttons are. Maybe they're longer or something. I'm not sure. It does feel a little bit different. So if you're not used to bigger phones, maybe go with the 14 instead of the Pro Max. But I love big phones. I'm so used to it. I've had the 6 Plus as soon as it came out and I've always kept the like max version so i really really like it the cameras are also super big <laughs> like compared to my finger let's get into what is on my iphone so this is my screen <laughs> so this is a customized wallpaper i guess not wallpaper that's old school um my i'm not sure what to call this my background <laughs> so it's really really cool on the ios 16 you can just hold this down and then you can actually have a few different ones um so you can customize whatever you like so suggested photos i don't know why my mom's came up but let's say we want my mom with gucci um it's really cool it's kind of like a magazine that she's like in front of the background that's really really cool to me definitely a big upgrade from ios 15s so we can minimize her we can make her bigger here and then i can also adjust these let's say i want them purple or pink and then i can add widgets so here i could do like hang with mom i could put the weather i could um whatever i want i can put the battery symbol so let's do that and then let's also add um the weather why not let's do that so this is our new background so we're gonna do add and I can set it as a wallpaper pair, so the home screen will have the blurry version, which is kind of cool if you have your apps in front so that it's not really distracting. Sometimes there's just too much going on with a picture in the background, in my opinion. Or you can also customize the home screen separately, but let's do wallpaper pair. And then once that's done, this is my new wallpaper, super cute, love it. And when I unlock the phone, she's in the background blurry. So that is really, really cool. And then if I want to change that, I can just hold it down, put the pink one, and that's it. 
or I can hold it down, put Gucci back. This is like definitely the biggest upgrade for me because you can customize your home screen and it's super, super cool. So let's use the home screen that I had customized previously. So this one is a picture of Gucci I took and I customized, I put the calendar here so you guys can see at 10, my mom is coming over. Um, so yeah, then the only thing that I don't love about this is that the notifications are now from the bottom here and I don't love that, <laughs> but it's really cool because you can make them disappear. So that is definitely a plus. And my mom just texted me. Um, so you guys can see it's at the bottom. And if I want to make that disappear, and then it will tell me that I still have one notification. Um, but it is kind of an adjustment to get used to from the notifications being at the top. So now let's get into the internal stuff. So if I swipe up, this is my um, home screen. Now I do obviously have this page of apps but I am not using that right now I'm using just this this looks a little bit cluttered but it is definitely organized I will go through it with you guys and if you guys have any suggestions for what to add here I'm definitely open to it because I feel like I need something here I just don't want more of these categories because it's already there's there's a lot going on <laughs> um so let's just start with the top here so I have my reminders so my calendar is here because I know just by looking at my phone what I have to do today so what's coming up next and I love that. And then when I swipe up, I have my notifications. So today I have to do these things. So you guys can see film what's on my iPhone. So these are my tasks for the day. And then let's go into all of the um, categories here. So I have made them into folders that are al <laughs> alphabetically organized just because there was no rhyme or reason other than alphabetical, in my opinion, to make these. I was just so lost. I'm not used to having a home screen. I've actually only worked with the apps. Um, and I also just look up what I want. So if you swipe up, you can do the search or you can just press this search. Um, so that's really, really handy if you're looking for an app and you don't know where it is. So I actually have filmed a what's on my iPhone previously. I'll link for you guys that I showed I had no apps. I was just using this. So when you got into my home page, it was just a picture. <laughs> um, but now I'm trying this method out. So these are alphabetically organized. So let's go through each category. So the first one is entertainment. So I have my YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video, Helix. This is my cable so I can watch my TV on the go. Hot 899 is a radio station where I live. Podcast app, Cineplex, movies, obviously. iTunes Store, Apple TV. And then we got Duolingo and Ancestry. I have not re-downloaded these since I got my new phone, you guys can see, but I am planning on it. So I did wanna keep these. Um, and these kind of fit into the entertainment category in my opinion, because they're just kind of like something I would go on here and there. Um, if you guys don't know what Duolingo is, it's to learn a second language. And right now I'm an I am learning Italian once I redownload it. <laughs> and then Ancestry obviously is the DNA. So the next category is finance. So in here I have my TD, TD My Spend. So that just tracks my spending. Mint is an amazing budget app. I will link a budgeting video if you guys are interested that I did. And I told you guys how I bought a house and a car cash at 24. It's definitely because of my budgeting strategies. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Um, my Sun Life is insurance, PayPal, CAA is car, um, Intact is also for insurance, then life insurance. Um, I have my wallet with my cards on here. And then also my Wealth Symbol, which is an investing app. I do have a discount code for you guys if you want to sign up. It is linked down below. Now my food section, I have actually minimized this quite a bit, which I'm very proud of myself because... I order food like there is no tomorrow <laughs> so this is what I have so far and I'm intending on keeping it like this so I have the tasty app for recipes open table to make um, reservations at a restaurant skip the dishes uber eats Starbucks Tim Hortons McDonald's and super C is a grocery store in my area in the health section I have flow if you know you know <laughs> optimity is basically you earn points for like doing exercise and different things like that i have also a discount code for you guys body monitor is an app that came with my scale so when i weigh myself um it shows me like details about that and then it tracks like my weight loss journey let's say um fitness is for my apple watch Akutsu is a pharmacy in my area my chart is for like results, like test results if you go to the doctor. My fitness pal is to track my eating habits. Pillow is my sleep app. And then Vexicud is also, that was for um, when there was the pandemic and we needed 
proof of vaccination that is on there. Home, I have Y, so this is my Gucci cam, so we can actually go on it right now, but he's not in bed, he's in my bed right now. <laughs> so if I look on here, he's actually not in there. So let's go into my Gucci cam. You guys can see he's not in his bed, he's in my bed right now. Ring is my doorbell camera. Um, happy lighting is my lights in my kitchen, um, so I can control them with the app. Helix Fi, that's my Wi-Fi. Home, I never use this, but if I get a home device that is compatible, I might link it so I kept the app. Hydro, obviously to pay Hydro. Um, books app, iTunes University, and my Telus, because I love Telus. Now music, obviously I have the music app, Shazam, podcast, and iTunes store. I feel like podcast was also in here. Okay, should I move? I'm going to move podcasts. I'm going to remove it from my home screen because it's already in here. Now photo and video, I have camera, photos, Facetune, how I edit my pictures, YouTube studio for creators, iMovie, that's how I edit my videos. Bizarre is how I make my thumbnails. Um, if you guys want a video on that, I'm happy to do one. Insta size is if you have a picture that is too big, let's say for Instagram and you want a border around it, Insta size. Canva is how I make different designs or like birthday cards or things like that. And then Canon Print is a little selfie printer I have, so that is the app for it. Now in productivity, I have a whole video on how to stay productive with your phone. I will link that for you guys as well. So I have my calendar. I put everything in my calendar. Clock, obviously I put my alarm so you guys can see. Does anyone else do this or am I the only one? <laughs> um, and then I have my notes. I put so many things in notes. Gmail is for my business email. If you guys want to email me, it's linked below. <laughs> um, mail is just like my other accounts. Contacts, obviously, Weather, Chrome, Safari, Apple News. Pro Affiliates is something with a sponsorship that I'm doing with Popple. I do have a business um, a code for business cards if you guys are interested. Shopping, I have two pages full of this. So this one, I'm trying to not download anything else, but the Flip app is super, super useful if you're doing groceries. So this um, categorizes your list. So let's say on your shopping list, you want to add apples. So that's in produce and then you want to add bread. Um, and then whatever you add will go in here and then you can also click on it and it'll t tell you the sales on that item in your area. So that is super, super useful. Now Ampli is basically a cashback app on everyday purchases. I also have a discount code for you guys down below. So you just link your cards and wherever you buy stuff that is applicable for the app, it'll send you cash back. Amazon, you guys know what this is. Poshmark, I have a Poshmark site linked down below if you guys are interested in buying some of my um, old stuff. Some of them still have the tags on, they're brand new. Jewelry, sunglasses, clothes, you name it, it's on there. <laughs> Checkout 51 is an amazing cashback app on your groceries. So you just take your grocery receipt, take a picture of it, and it'll send you cash back. It's amazing. Instacart is if you order groceries and you're you're just going to go pick them up instead of going to the store yourself. SPC is the student price card I had when I was in university. SAQ is the liquor store in my area. Sephora, obviously. Triangle is Canadian Tire Rewards. I don't really use that one. Fashion Nova, Dynamite, Sheen. Drop is also a cashback app. Vivino, Groupon, Shop is if I'm waiting for a package. It'll tell me in this app. And then Honey for discount codes. And then in my socials, this is the fun part. <laughs> so I got messages, FaceTime, and phone. Obviously, these come with the phone. And then I also have Snapchat. So if you guys want to follow me on here, it is at Amanda Kate Tracy. This is my little Snapchat code. And then I have Instagram, obviously. So this is my Instagram. If you guys want to follow me, it is there, down below as well. So it's just at Brunette Princess, just like my um, YouTube. And then I have TikTok. I am trying to be so active on TikTok. I'm really trying my best. <laughs> um, so this is also my TikTok. So it's at Brunette Princess. And you guys can see I am, I'm trying here, girl. I am trying <laughs> to keep up with the younger generation. So then we have Facebook, Messenger, WhatsApp, Pinterest. I also have Pinterest if you guys want to follow me on there. It is at Brunette Princess, same as my YouTube. 
Um, Bitmoji Popple is the business cards I was telling you guys about earlier. Twitch, I don't really use. Um, Twitter, I haven't used in years. And then a Reddit also. And now in my travel, I have Weather, Maps, Uber. Petro is a gas station around here, so you get rewards. Um, this one, pay, this one is uh, parking meters basically in the city that are electronic. So instead of putting change in the parking meter, you just connect your phone and your credit card on this, and then you can pay for parking. And then Flowbird is those little scooters. If you guys have seen those like in the city, you basically just download the app and then pay for like half an hour or something and then you ride a scooter. And then utilities, I have the typical ones. So I have App Store, Calculator, Clock, Files, Apple Watch, Voice Memos, Translate, Tips, and Settings. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed it by liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to check out my description box for a ton of discount codes for you guys, as well as all of my socials if you guys want to follow me and keep up with my life. <laughs> it's not that interesting, but it is linked down below for you guys. And as always, just know that I love you, you are valued, and be kind to yourselves. Bye guys!